You know, one thing that I've seen is there's uh, this thing in me. It's like called emotion, isn't it? It messes everything up, messes all the plans in life up. And, uh, you know, I begun to look at them like these must be some sort of software or something in our system, some sort of thing designed in our system where they can like snap their fingers and change something and then they point another direction. They're like, oh, that wasn't magic happening. That was love. That was lust. That was desire. That was greed. That was envy. That was jealousy. And you know, I've seen it enough where I realize like this isn't just like, you know, <laughs> this isn't like natural. There's no natural. There's some sort of technology prison out here. Um, so, I mean, this is all fake. These people like Elon Musk, right? Like how paid off is someone like that to get that high on TV? Anything he says, you should assume the opposite. So, when he says he's on Mars, you should assume that Mars doesn't exist. Whether it does or not, it's a logic dictation. So, I noticed there's like this, these flaws in my system. They make me act in certain ways and they never really achieve any specific goal. I, although the rage, the rage kind of like achieves like a very high level of power for me. Um, you know, the other stuff can do stuff. I mean, I can manipulate the world around me to some small minor extent, right? There's something there in the way. And then that's where this comes into play, that these are just tools being used by that something in the way. And I notice like all the time when I, I have these emotions, they're like they never turn out well for me. Almost any time I have any emotion, it, it is like does not turn out well for me. And... I'm just thinking like, okay, well, like, it's time to fuck these people in the ass who are behind all this shit. And um, as I'm usually thinking, right, like, whether I have to hide and act like I don't feel that way or not, I understand the end game here, this game. And uh, I understand the game's not billions of years old. This is nonsense told to you by liars. If you believe anything a liar has told you, then you have your head filled with falsities. And we should take every word they say and say the exact opposite. If they say the world is 50 quadzillion years old, we should assume it's half a year old. When they say this, we think this. This is, this is more logically what's happening than what these people over here are saying. These people over here are saying anything they can to get a four-year-old baby cock up their butt or to uh, make another buck. So we can't really believe the words of these people out here or these things out here because it's like people, what is a people? Like, <laughs> I'll break down this suit to you right now in biological, in uh, biotechnology terms and I'll be the first to tell you I'm affected by these programs they have that affect our minds. So, I think that, um, you know, the, the root of every problem is finding the root of the problem. That's why it's called the root of the problem. And so, every problem has the same roots. It's, it's, it's one giant tree. The earth's one giant tree. And it's expanded from so many branches, but it's came out from one root. And I think if we begin to, like, search for those roots... Well, we wouldn't find anything anymore, would we? Because those roots have been expunged from the the history. The history. You know, the libraries and the internet, which is the modern library. And, and the plays and the movies and the music, blah, 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 blah. It's all been expunged. So, I mean... I don't even know what to say. When I when I say something like that, I have to start correcting myself because I used to like have like a plan, but that plan doesn't exist when the people behind the plan like have like much different levers of control than everyone else. Acts like they see.
because, I mean, if you're not being mind hijacked to talk to me, most people uh, must be in on something because a lot of people say a lot of stuff. And there's only so many things I can think of that, that would be happening. Sometimes I get blamed for creating the world around me. And it's like, no, I've tested that enough. There is no fire appearing in front of me right now. So that doesn't work. The, I just assume they're moving stuff around when I change my thoughts and my mind, you know, to obey the system. Pretty much, that's all it is. Is if I obey, I get a, I get a doggy treat. And um, you know, like I don't even care about eating. Like doggy treats were cool for a while, but I'm not even like that like fond of doggy treats anymore. So. I guess you, you know, you let a child eat too many, too much junk food and they might not like it eventually. But, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to like understand what another being is and thinks and feels. I know I went through a change or several. But what of those changes made me see some other stuff? And it's like, really, like, I'd be interested in knowing what it's like to be someone else. Because when a lot of people around you turn on you all at once, all over the same stuff, all start acting the same way, it's like, what is this, like, some cloud of confusion that's infected them? You know, it, it's almost like they've all logged into Google or and went to like myspace.com and checked the like logs of what they should see and what they shouldn't see and they've changed according to that. Maybe I have those issues too. I'm not really arguing against that. But what I am saying is that all this exists. Apparently it does, right? Because what else is going on? Someone have a better answer? <laughs> How about we go to one of these one million viewers YouTube channels and we ask them how they feel about things. And they'll tell us whatever makes them feel safe that they can tell us. So they can get a million views and they can live in big houses and stuff, right? Yeah. I know this is like a curse. I've got to cut out these feelings and emotions. It's like a disease sometimes. It's rotting in my brain. And every time I think of it, I was like, you know, that's like not really the goal of my mission right there. Um, you know, I just did something stupid right there that like probably wasn't worth my time and money because people think money is more important time because you're brainwashed and he, they developed an intricate system of words to siphon your life from you or keep you in a world where you don't actually even have a life yet you think you do that's I guess that's the more accurate thing right so we people probably think they have lives and they don't and uh, there isn't life for most labor, slavery. And, but why is this? Like, you know, is the world thousands of years old? What's going on? How come certain things in the world can shift around me? And stuff like that. I don't think it's thousands of years old. So, so it, it's like what? Uh, we're in some sort of land where there's some sort of demons or um, what sorcerers who conjure the illusion of millions of others or it's like an android land either way I mean the conjuring the illusion that technology is real I mean they're behind it right you can easily put a face on these people it's not hard to identify identify them. Someone just shows you a picture of Howard Stern and you now know what you're looking for. If, if you can learn. And I understand it might take a little bit to learn why that's important. 
and I understand they they they've got all sorts of excuses like oh we've erased it so that'll be their next excuse no one knows anything because we've erased all the technology we've erased all the history as long as they can make the illusion they continue to erase history they can make the illusion that every other form they shift into is ignorant and i suppose seeing with what i see like they come from a technology they come from a greed obsessed world they're probably trying to figure out how to get the most bang for their buck out of every situation they're involved in. So, that world built this game, and this game is probably like a simple VR helmet or something like that. It's probably nothing too spectacular. It's probably nothing like an actual real world. Because the game itself was built with the ideas that greed exists and building and capitalism and slavery exist. So that means it exists, at least at one point, for the people who created it. And maybe it's like a throwback. They want to go back and check it out again. They miss the days of doing something other than playing chess. I can feel that. I can feel that for real. <laughs> uh, that makes me wonder why I might be the one who understands a lot of this because I really <clears throat> miss the days of uh, the old. But <sighs> you know, I see like things happen, and I'm like, "Well, that wasn't me." And this isn't happening when I ask for it. And, but this other crazy stuff seems to. And it's like, you know, these are like patterns I've analyzed often. Things will appear that I'm like looking for. And generally not like, I don't know. Some stuff has appeared pretty fast. But that's probably just stuff I've already thought of or said. Like thousands of days ago. But um, I noticed like these things really get in the way of critical thinking and everything else. And I was, I was trying to analyze like why do people, like why do we like cancel critical thinking for these other things? And I think it's because there's people pushing buttons and controlling things here. And yeah. That's probably the core of any problem anyone has. So if anyone has any problem and they eventually want to do something about it, if they move forward to be an activist or something like that, they're probably going to learn that there's something. And they might not understand it, what they see. You might, maybe they'll call it magic rather than technology. But there's definitely something going on. And it's not very cool. It's not very friendly a lot of the times when these things happen. It leads you to making things that the other emotions will then later explain why it failed. And stuff like that. And you're just like, hmm, that's interesting. Like, when logic actually dictated I shouldn't have done any of that in the first place, yet I'm somehow overridden by some other nonsense that's being fucking bashed into my brain by who knows what, who knows where, you know, be it these wannabe magicians out here who probably do actually control large portions of the earth, but fuck them. And, or, or be it just radio waves. And I mean, this they write it off as the flicker rate, the radio waves. You have right puppeted humans at the very least. <sighs> but from what level, right? All they know is technology. So that's probably all that outlines this world. And 
those people would call themselves gods because scientists are gods when they create something in a in a test tube, right? When they create a new life. That's pretty much what these people call themselves. And now there probably are like something who's created the game. There's like a game developer and then the game developer crew. And then there's like the, all the characters in a game and they're entirely separate, right? Like they are entirely separate, whether they think they are or not. I mean, when you played a video game in Bowser, like question if you was Bowser, like that doesn't happen. You don't play a game and Bowser's like, oh, hey Mario, man. Like you think like this developer is like pitting us against one another and trying to hurt us and, and we should be allies. And then Mario's like, hey, hey, have a rainbow flag, Koopa. And uh, I've not seen that happen. Maybe maybe now that I've said that, they'll make a Mario with that ending. But um, I've not seen a lot of that, right? And I try to analyze what's been going on. And really, I come to a situation like that. I wonder how many other people out there are being blamed for inventing this world while they're the ones doing the actual work and stuff and making the world happen. I wonder how many that is. Like, it'd be important to know the ratio of humans to androids to puppet masters to developers and you know how much level of participation each are allowed to have. But I don't, I don't remember seeing that list. At the end of the day, like, or even at the start, I'm smart enough to remember. These are the only things that matter in life. Food, water, housing, being, that's like, those are tools they use to lure you into slavery. You need food, you need water, you need a house. Because they need a, a pyramid built for them. So you've got to work to fund the pyramid. It's hard enough thinking that telling everyone to quit work for a week would like change the world because it would. But quitting life for a week would like change it like that much more significantly. There would be like a lot of people who see a lot of things that are unexplainable in order to keep you alive. Because if too many of the slaves die off, then the world can't continue to be 